Hey guys, MEP Guy here, and in this video, I'm going to show you all the different ways to roll your piping inside of Revit. So we have this situation here where we have these pipes, and we want to make a connection, but we don't want to just make a 90 degree and another 90 degree. We want to roll this piping so we use the least amount of fittings possible. So you would think you could just click on this piece and right click and draw a pipe. And then I can go ahead and click into this piece right here. But as you can see, Revit is kind of making a funky way of it connecting it. Now this definitely works, except the fact that it's running right into our piece of equipment. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo that. And we're gonna try a different way. So this is what I would recommend doing. So click on your pipe, the first one, right click on the grip, draw pipe. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold shift and it's going to lock this pipe to 90 degrees. So I'm just gonna click a point right there. Once I have that, I can go ahead and select all of my elements. And the reason I do that is because when I hit my view cube up here, if I hit the right, you can see it will automatically center this into my view. Once I have that, this is kind of like a section view and I can work just like I would in a section. So now I can click on this piece of piping and I can actually drag it and we can make this connection just like that. And so that's really all you have to do. I'm gonna hold shift and we're gonna orbit back around and you can see now I've made this rolling connection up which is much nicer than the previous way it was doing it. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo that. So we're just gonna hit Control Z. I'm gonna show you guys another way, which is an automatic routing way. And you guys know I love automatic stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this piece of pipe. I'm gonna hold Control and we're gonna select this piece of pipe. And now you can see I have an option up here called routing solutions. And so what that will do is if I click it, Revit will come up with some routing solutions for me. And so it's really nice. It actually has 17 solutions. So I don't know what Revit's trying to do here. This one looks totally fine, but let's see what it's trying to do. So there's all these different kinds of solutions that you can orbit through and you can kind of use. So this one's pretty interesting, but you can see this is using way too many fittings. So let's go back to the first one that it had, which looked pretty good. So 17 out of 17, and let's just click finish. And as you can see, we've accomplished the same technique using the automatic routing tools. So for the next example, we have these three branch pipes and they're going into the sanitary main that's very low below the ground. So you can see that these branches are at different elevations. We want to roll this piping into this main. So I'm gonna show you guys three different ways to do it. So the first way you can do it is if you go to a floor plan and we wanna make this connection to this piece of pipe, you can actually use your trim extend command. So right here we have the trim extend single element. We're gonna click our main and then we're gonna click this branch piping. And as you can see, Revit will draw a 45 degree angle and that looks great. But we actually wanna go 45. So we're gonna use that same similar technique. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on the view cube again and we're gonna zoom in and we're gonna delete this fitting and I'm just gonna drag this piece to 45 degrees, just like that. And then from this view, we can also just use our trim command. So let's go up to trim, and we'll trim this piece into this piece. And now we have a nice rolling 45 degree angle into this main. Now Rev draw the correct fitting. So we have to make sure we click on this and make sure we put it on the right fitting. So let's use a Y combination fitting. And as you can see, that looks perfect. So that's the first situation. So for the next example, I'm gonna show you guys a different method and we're gonna actually use from the main and we're gonna go up to this pipe right here and we're gonna use a technique based on this slope. So if you think about it, a 45 degree angle is actually a slope of 12 inches per 12 inches or one to one. So let's add that slope to our pipe. So we're gonna go up to manage, MEP settings, mechanical settings, and then pipe settings under slopes, we're gonna click and we're gonna add a new slope. So we're gonna go 12 inches per 12 inches. Hit okay. Now we have this new one-to-one -one slope. We're gonna hit okay here. So now all I have to do is what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into this floor plan right here. We're actually going to use our create similar technique. So we're gonna create similar. And this time I have to make sure inherit elevation is selected because I wanna inherit the elevation of this main pipe down here. So we're gonna also make sure slope up is on and also our slope value is gonna be 12 inches per 12 inches. Now when we click, when we go to draw this pipe, if we draw it from this end over up here, you're gonna see that Revit's not gonna be able to do that. So here's the trick. What we have to do is we have to use inherit slope up, but we have to make sure we go from this middle point of our pipe. And then when we go up, you can see Revit will draw a perfect 45 degree angle for us. And then from here, all we have to do is use our trim command. So we use a trim, we'll trim it from here to here. And that looks great. And then we have to make sure we change this fitting to a Y combination fitting. 
and now we have a nice perfect rolling pipe up. Now see this over here, this is a graphics thing. If this ever happens to you, just select it and then hit escape. And it's literally just a graphics thing. It, it won't cause you any issues. So let's go to our last example here and we're just gonna go ahead and try to connect this piece. Now, what we can also do is we can use the add vertical or change slope command. So this time I'm gonna show you this change slope. And what that will do is we'll change the slope of the pipe to be able to connect into this main. So we're gonna use change slope here. I'm just gonna right click, I'm gonna draw a pipe and we're just gonna draw and connect it in just like that. And as you can see, we have a nice little bend connection and we need to just check our pipe right here. And we can't really tell if this is a 45 degree angle, but I think that looks close enough. But here's the problem. If we look at this from a floor plan and we go to a medium level of detail, you can see my other pieces where I'm going into the piping have a nice little slope or angle to them so they look like the flow is flowing down. So this one, you can see the flow is going in this direction. But as you can see, this fitting is a no-go. This is not what we want things to look like. So we can't actually use this situation. So what we have to do is we have to change this fitting again to that combo Y. And as you can see, Revit's gonna yell at us because look, we don't have enough room to put this combination Y fitting and this elbow fitting together. So we have to come up with another solution. So I'm gonna hit cancel here and we're gonna to have to do something else. Now we could change this to a sanitary T, but that's not actually a legal fitting per the international plumbing code. So here's what I will do. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna undo everything. So I'm gonna hit control Z, control Z, and now we're back to where we started. And instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to literally just redraw this piping, okay? Sometimes, actually a lot of times in Revit, it is just easier to redraw piping. So I'm actually going to delete these pieces right here, just like that. And then we're gonna go up to this piece over here. So I'm gonna select it, I'm gonna right click, and we're gonna say create similar. And again, I'm gonna use inherit elevation. And this time I want to make it slope up, but I wanna use that eighth of an inch because I don't even want to roll my piping. I'm just gonna go straight from this piece and up because it was already at a similar elevation to this anyway. So I'm just gonna go from this main, we're gonna click and we're gonna start drawing this way and we're gonna hit escape. And as you can see, I'm now sloping at an eighth of an inch. Now, this is actually not an eighth of an inch, you can see here, but it is close enough. But if you want to be perfect, all you have to do is you could type in here an eighth of an inch, or to make your life a little easier, you can just go up to slope, select eighth of an inch right here, and hit finish. And now if I select it, look, everything's perfect, okay? And then the last thing we're gonna have to do is just trim these guys together from here to here, and boom, you got it all figured out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little, these little techniques and rolling piping is one of the more challenging things and sloping piping in general is a very challenging thing. I actually don't even like to slope pipe most of the time, but I did wanna show you guys these techniques because they will come handy when it's time to slope your piping. So I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure you check out my free mini course at mepguy.com and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks guys, bye.